Hello everybody, this is Joseph Propatti, and this is my third video in the series for my game Escape the Alps. This video in the instructional series will cover the easy level. That's this turn card. Next video will be covering the hard level. So there will be a total of four videos in the series. Uh, what I want to cover in this playthrough uh, for the easy mode, this will incorporate a few or a couple of snow train cards. Uh, it'll have the combination of the single octagon train cards, rock train, and then the dual. Um, but this really is the new element that makes a, a big game changer because you have anytime you're on the snow sections, you have a chance of slipping. And then it will also introduce the new um, condition card, event card, that has snow conditions. So whenever you get to one of these cards, you will swap out this event card for the snow one and then switch it back. So we have that. And like I said, there's more chances to fall when you are in the snow. So another new element is we use the C base terrain card and you can use either side. Uh, the nice thing about it is when you're playing this base card will start here and then you will end on this side and this is where you need to get to complete the game. So we have our benefits and hazard cards. Uh, we just need to set up, I've again created a document that will show uh, what cards are needed for the easy level. And you need two cards that have the single octagon, two cards that have the dual octagon on it, and these will be random, and then two snow train cards that have the dual. Okay, so you can just pick these out random. All right, we'll take those two for the single. There's one and two. The other ones you can set aside. And same thing for the snow train. Just take a random two. All right, now, once you have these six, these ones you're going to shuffle up. Remember, you can flip some over. You can rotate because you can use either side of the card. And we're going to shuffle. All right, and then we will cut it. All right, and there we go. So we always start, since it's a rock terrain, we will use our rock, oops, sorry, rock event condition card. We'll set this off to the side. Place our black cube on turn one. And since we're going to use this one, we will set this up with our components. There we go. And then our hazards. All right. <clears throat> And we'll go ahead and I'll, we'll pick our two train cards. Now you're going to go through six train cards. It's twice for the base and then four train cards, random train cards. So we always take the top one and flip it. And the next one and flip it. Okay. So there's the first two train cards. Now let's do our train shift. Now remember that's take a D6, roll it. If you get one or two, it will shift to the right. Three or uh, five or six, it will shift to the left. Three or four just doesn't do anything. So a one will shift to two. A two will shift to one. So here we go. Three. So this one doesn't change. And then for the top one, oh, got lucky. Three and three. So straight up shot. Got all the components on. Now we want to set our starting position. So we roll our d6. Three, we start from the left, go one, two, three, and then make sure you give six. Again, if you rolled a six for this, you could put it anywhere you want. 
So our objectives are to hit these safe zones. Remember, you only have a set amount of stamina. You can't gain stamina, but you can lose stamina. And if you do not hit these safe zones, if you pass it, you will lose a stamina point. And then you can see there's enough on here that you lose enough, you're going to pass out and die. You'll fall off the rock. There are, are, there are also three turns that you will lose stamina. 7, 14, and if you get to 20, that will be the third one. So right off the bat, you're going to get down to three. And if you lose three, if you pass up three of these safe zones, you're going to fall off the rock. So very critical that you do not pass up safe zones. Get through them because you will be losing three points here. Now, one of the elements that we'll be adding to this level is the sniper. And the sniper comes in when you have this red box around the turn tracker. And that adds a very big element to the game because a sniper, the German snipers, are taking shots at you and they will continue to take shots at you unless you hit the safe zones. That's another thing that's nice about these safe zones is if you reach a safe zone, um, there's, they won't be taking shots at you. All right, so you get the first shot when you land on that turn. It will take a shot. And they will keep, they'll, they'll, he'll keep taking a shot at you until you get to that safe zone. So if you're here, and let's say you moved here, and that, for some reason, that was the, the box. So that turn, it would take a shot at you. And the way it works is, if you roll two, on two dice, snake eyes, you'd be hit. And you'd fall off. You'd lose the game. But let's say you rolled a three, so you were safe. He will keep shooting at you, at you until you get to the safe zone. That's when he'll stop shooting at you. So, as long as you takes you get to that safe zone, whatever safe zone, each turn it will go up uh, as a higher chance. So the next one will be two and three, and then the next turn will be two, three, and four that he gets a shot, and then two, three, four, five. So the longer you take to get to that safe zone, uh, the more chances, the higher chance he's going to get to shoot you and and shoot you off the rock face so very critical every time you see these little red boxes that's when he starts taking a shot at you and you need to get right to that safe zone to stop him from shooting you so that's the new element so we have day and night like we've already had seven you have stamina and then the new element is the sniper so we've got our setup We've got our four dice. Remember, I'm going to be playing this one where I'm going to be adding a fifth dice, not only on four of a kind, but if you roll a straight. Now, if you watched the previous video, you notice that I am adding a rule where if you roll any kind of straight, which is a one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six, with these four dice, you get to add this fifth dice and then re-roll everything. Very critical because you kind of really need it. It helps out to get up through this mountain or this rock face. So... That's the uh, um, new rule I'm going to be adding. We'll see how it plays in here. Um, so if you get four of a kind or a straight, you can add that fifth die. So we're all set up. And we're going to get ready to start. All right. Let's go. Okay. So we'll take our four dice. Remember on the first turn, we don't roll rock conditions, but every time you change your day and night, you will roll for the rock conditions. See what happens. Two dice, and we'll see. So, all right, so two fours. So just to re re reiterate the rules, anytime you get doubles, you can take one of these, and change to whatever you want. If you get three of a kind, you can take two of them and change them to whatever you want, okay? So just be aware of that. So these two fours, I can leave them as they are, or I can change one of them to whatever I want. So we want to get to this first safe zone. Uh, let's see. So we've got one, two, and I want to go this way. So this will work out perfect. <clears throat> we'll start it with a one, which goes left. And then we will do a three, which goes up. I will change one of these to a two, and then keep the four. Okay, so we're planning our route to try and get to that first safe zone. So, we have our one, 
three, two. And what that means is since I got to that first save zone, don't lose any stamina. Very critical. Then four. All right. Let's go to turn two. I want to hit these greens, but I also want to hit that blue. But this is more important than getting that benefit. Okay, great. Sixes. Sixes are really good. Sixes, you get to reroll. You get to change to whatever you want. So I could do a five and then a four. But if I want to get past that, I'm going to have to hit that. So I will do, I'm going to change. Uh, let's see. I could go up, down, up, up. Uh, so up with a three. I'll take that benefit. And come down, which means I uh, roll a, f I use a four. Because remember, four is up to the right or down to the right. So up, down. And I need another four. All right. So that's down up. And then another four. Because you can't go in here. So I'm just going to have to risk seeing what that hazard is. <clears throat> All right. So let's go and do our move. We've got three. Let's see what our benefit is. There we get this. You roll right away. Ooh, 12. Oh, that's a good one. Avoid a fall. A fall result is ignored. That's a good one. Now, these benefits only last for this card. So, any kind of fall I get on this one, don't have to worry about it. And then we're going to do a four. And another four. Now, that's another one. And then the bad one, the hazard. Let's see what that is. Nine. So... No good hand holds. Slide roll becomes a fall condition. But perfect. If I get a fall, it doesn't matter. So if I get a slide that turns into fall, I can use this one. Negates it. Now, turn three. So let's get up there as fast as I can to that. Still no run or straight. But this is good. I can change two of these. Okay, so three. Now I'll use a five because remember, if you go off the mountain, it's like a reverse. So a five basically turns into a one. So I know that I can do a three and a five. Boom, boom. And then just go three, three. So I'll change, I'll keep that three and I'll change this to three because we want to do a sh straight shot. All right, so we've got three, a five going to the right turns it to be a one. Let's see what that one is. Eight. That is clear path. Ignore any rock condition roll. So that would be one of those. All right. So we got three and three. All right. Four. Okay. So this is our first night condition. So we flip this over and sniper shot. Luckily, we're pretty close. So that helps. So first we roll <clears throat> an 11, a slide, drop two. Now, unfortunately, these all disappeared because they only lasted for this card. So let's put these on here. Like that. Okay, so... 11 is a slide drop two, so that means I go boom, boom. That is a bummer. Drop two spaces. And sniper shot. So, sniper shot is roll two dice. Oh, please don't roll two. Whew, so close, three. So, didn't get shot on that one, which is good. And he's going to keep shooting until I get to that safe zone. So, we've got to get there as soon as we can. So two, three, five, six. Still haven't gotten that fifth dice yet. So let's get up there as fast as we can. So three, three, if we go two, five, and then we can change. So we go three, we go two, so three, two, and then five. Five, three, two, five, and four. Bring it around that red one. 
just don't want to get past it. So we're going to take our first one, three. Oh, that's right. I, I was, I guess I was okay on that slide. So, no, but those are all dealing with full, fall condition. So yeah, I was good. That was still good. I was on here. So three, two, five. So if you saw that and I was like, oh, it didn't matter. Yes, I didn't have a slide condition that was removable. And two or four, which goes here. All right. So we go here. So we have another shot. Now, please, no two or three. <laughs> Jesus. All right. That was unfortunate. That was a quick quick game. Um, sniper got me. I didn't get a chance to get to the get to the safe zone. Well, sometimes that's how the games happen. Uh, I'm gonna leave this on down there, um, and I'll do another one for the easy. But this kind of shows you. Well, you know, you get a quick one. Uh, so this was uh, a quick playthrough of the B, the easy level, and I will do another one. So. You'll see another easy level video, but unfortunately that one didn't take too too long. I got a quick shot, sniper got me, and I knocked me off the rock. So, hey, what are you going to do? So, thanks for watching. Again, this is Joseph Barbati, and this is my game Escape the Alps, and this was covering the easy level, and unfortunately it was a quick loss because sniper got me. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.